A local activist tied to the recent Oregon militia standoff is trying desperately to get out of a federal holding facility and come back to his home in Cincinnati. Pete Santilli, who hosts a YouTube show and claims to be a journalist, has been behind bars since his arrest January 26th. Local 12's Rich Jaffe reports Santilli says he's basically willing to turn his apartment over to the FBI. Pete Santilli was arrested January 26th after asking law enforcement at the Oregon standoff if he could go into the secured area to try and bring out women and children still in the compound. The video of his arrest was posted on YouTube, and he has been in federal custody ever since. Santilli first came to attention in the Cincinnati area when he was arrested for improperly transporting a loaded firearm by Newtown police last December. Shortly after those charges were dropped, he showed up in Oregon at the standoff and claimed to be a working member of the media. His controversial Pete Santilli show is broadcast over YouTube. He garnered quite a bit of attention after saying on one of his shows in May of 2013 that he wanted to shoot Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. I want to shoot her right in the and just really, I don't want her to die right away. I want her to feel the pain and I want to look her in the eyes. YouTube is also full of broadcasts which say Santilli is really a government informant, a charge he denies. Since his arrest, Santilli has been declared a danger to the community and a flight risk. In this declaration for the U.S. District Court in Oregon, Santilli says he can understand why the judge expressed concern about some of his statements. He says that while he turned over his firearms as requested by authorities, he said on the air, I buried my guns because I wanted people to think that they could not simply file a false restraining order against me as a means to take away my firearms. He goes on to say he didn't want people to think he was defenseless. He also explained why he said he'd shoot anyone who comes busting through my door at 4 o'clock in the morning, saying he wasn't talking about law enforcement. Pete Santilli and his girlfriend live in this tiny Mount Washington apartment building on the second floor. In his negotiations with federal authorities, he says in these documents that he's willing to let the FBI come in and search his apartment anytime they want. And if the federal judge releases him, he's also willing to let the FBI install surveillance cameras in his apartment. In Mount Washington, Rich Jaffe, Local 12 News. No word at this point when or if Pete Santilli will be released, but we will let you know as the case progresses.